Hey, what's going on YouTube? Southern Knights, back at you with another video. Before you watch this all the way through, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And with that said, I'm going to talk about why rapper or entertainers lose their lives in their own neighborhoods. I ain't going to say their own city or state. I'm just going to say neighborhood. Because I'm going to break this down. And a lot of people, even your bit bloggers, they're not going to touch these issues right here that I'm about to touch on. Well, one of the reasons why, because uh, for years, and why this only applied to um, black boys in the entertainment business, um, I, I I have, I may have an idea of why it happened to only black boys and mainly the rap, the rap, um, industry or the music industry, but I'll say that one for another time. But one of the reasons why, because black men are put in a position to where if you make it big or if you get into a position automatically, well, let's say if you get into a position of financial freedom or position of power to where you can do something to help other people conditions, they don't look at black men as, okay, we're going to ask this brother to, see can he help other people's situations they look at it more as an obligation to where other people they look at it as well can we ask them to do this um, for us but with us per se people look at it more as an ob obligation as if yeah you you got to do this and yeah uh if you ain't doing this you are um well i ain't gonna say some of the people that been spewing this bull crap for over the years, what they say, but well, you were this and you that if you don't, you know, you got to give, you got to give back, you got to do this, which giving back is fine. Um, going back into your community to help out is fine also, but I'm starting to see that it's a setup for young brothers in the entertainment business to either get robbed or get killed. Or it started. I'm starting. I'm and I've been seeing this. I've been seeing it, but other people starting to see it now also, because remember, <laughs> I talked about this six months ago before all of this stuff happened. At least a tad bit of it, but they look at it as a obligation almost as if they the father of the black community. So a lot of young brothers um, do it. They don't, I, I, I'm convinced a lot of them do it through shame. They don't do it because they want to do it. They feel like if they don't do it, they're going to get shame for not doing it. They feel like, um, if they don't stay in the hood, they're going to get shamed for it. So the giving back part is whatever that individual decide what he want to do with his wealth. But the staying in the hood part, that they're, they're just doing too much, especially when you got um, money, resources, um, chain, jewelry, and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of younger men like to um do that so but when you get older you know you find out that this stuff really don't really matter at the end of the day because, because people that don't dress like that those usually the richest ones i don't know if y'all notice that but the people that wear regular t-shirts like this usually be the ones that's in the billions <laughs> so and 
rappers that used to dress like that when they first started, but notice that when they reach um, the million dollar status or the billion dollars boys club, they started rap wearing regular stuff. Almost, it's almost like it burnt their desires. You know, it's the desires that they had when they first got into it. And once you burn those desires, you no longer have those desires in. It's like, well, I just wear this plain T-shirt with a hose in it and go out. But, yeah. So, a lot of, a lot of um, black men feel like they are obligated to do that out of shame, you know, not out of the uh, consideration of just helping people, <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, you doing it, or you this and you that, uh, you always got to keep it real with the, no matter, but I noticed that people only say this to young black entertainers. You don't hear this coming from black female entertainers. You don't hear this coming from country singers. You don't hear this you, you don't hear nobody saying um uh, to uh Reba McIntyre to come back to the neighborhood and keep it real. <laughs> you know, you don't you don't you don't hear stuff like that. Yeah, it sounded pretty funny coming out of my mouth, didn't it? You you don't really hear that. But when it comes down to young um black um male entertainers, you hear it all the time. But then when they do it, set up kill rob um distorted you know what i mean like whatever whatever the case may be you know what i mean extortion <laughs> you know it is whatever come with it that's that comes with the territory when you try to go back to the hood to keep it real and it's the same song the same blueprint over and over again but so you should they should learn from you would think that people learn from their past peers or learn from other people's mistakes by doing that. But the shaming tactics is so strong to where it overrides the consequences of going back to the neighborhood as far as staying there. I'm talking about having you know, doing regular stuff that you did before you got that fame or before you got into that financial situation. See, a lot of um brothers, but the for the brothers that do make it out and don't come back to the neighborhood, you already know what they call sellouts. You know, so... Some of them, anyway. It depending on which, which, what type of uh, business you in. If you if you're a rapper, yeah, most likely you're going to be considered a sellout because rappers and I somewhat understand both sides of the world. L let me give you the street side of the world. See, when rappers uh, come up, they automatically got to start from the street. So they got to interact with blocks or uh, cities or, or whether you in a neighborhood, you have to interact with people on the street or people that deal with other people on the street. Like you might have to go to the studio. You might hang on the block. You might do shows. You might do your freestyle ciphers, all of that stuff deal with the streets. So a lot of those people feel like, um, you owe them for even even being in that element of where you develop yourself from. So they might look at it as, well, if it won't for me battling this person, rap battling this person, if it won't for me um, hooking him up, um, sneaking him in the club to perform, while one of the other famous rappers in this club, then he won't be where he at. So that's the other side of the element of what some people feel like um, you got to give back to the hood. 
or give back to the neighborhood you're from. But on the flip side, then you got the other side. But once a rapper do that and try to give back or trying to give people opportunity, then you kill the plug. Because no matter, even if that neighborhood did, um, made that person who he was through various elements of hip hop, it don't, it don't measure up to the hate that he gonna receive once he go back there. <laughs> that that's what I'm trying to tell you. It don't measure up to the type of hate and envy that he's gonna receive. So, uh, despite of him, all right, y'all y'all kept it real, so I'm gonna come back and do this. You're gonna have that one person. Now, I ain't saying all of them gonna be like that. You're gonna have some people that's gonna look out. You're gonna have some people that's gonna be happy for you, but it's them. It's the chosen fuse that's that's always in the shadow lurking and plotting on you. So certain people, and I think when rappers come up, they don't develop a sense of awareness, especially now these days. Like these guys don't even see their foot in front of them, let alone see somebody try to do harm to them. So this is the reality that most rappers face when they try to look out for their neighborhood. Now, if you was a person that got successful or moved back home, not in your neighborhood, but just around and people see you on a regular basis, that's, that's different because I'm going to tell you why, because now, even though you're not in that neighborhood, you still around. See, that's the trickery of of basically simmering down that um, rhetoric of us got to come back and keep it real with the neighborhood. Because if they still, still see you and they ask you, well, damn, man, why you don't come around? We don't see you in brown time no more. But I'm, um, well... I, I ain't want to tell you, I just gave out a name, you know what I mean? But I just made up something, but yeah. Oh, uh, why they don't see you in, um, why, why they don't see you in Diamond's Courts anymore or, or why they don't see you in whatever the neighborhood is. The reason why they don't see you in old neighborhoods because they automatically go answer their own question. So when they ask you that, you're going to answer, well, why, why, what reason do I have to go back to my neighborhood if I don't have relatives there? If you move all your relatives out, what's the reason why come back to that community? Why they don't come to see you at an event if they really want to see you? You see what I'm saying? Or where you do your place of business. But that's just my opinion of why rappers get caught up in the whole staying in my neighborhood and keeping it real and try to appease the people that really don't have your best interest, even though it may be a small percent of that community. But depend on how big your community is or if you stay in the barrel, if you stay in one of the five barrels in New York, then it may be just as worse for you because there's more people in population. So therefore more haters, more envy. If you stay in a smaller neighborhood, a community it might not be that bad for you. So that's just my take on it. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, I'm still de I'm getting over this cold too, though. So if I'm, I'm not usually in my mode like I usually do because, you know, I'm finally over it, but I'm just waiting for my body to, you know, get back 100%. I say I'm at 85% right now. Maybe 80, 85%. Yeah, but I'm, I'm getting back to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But if y'all like this video, like, share, subscribe to the channel.
and I'll catch y'all on the next one. All right, y'all. Peace.